Yes, I get it. Jumping ship to Ryzen 7000 is kind of expensive right now, but it can be made less so by fantastic motherboards such as the ASRock X670E Steel Legend, which sure, at $300 still is far from the cheapest thing in the world, but considering that it's an X670E motherboard, i.e. the top tier of AMD motherboards right now, it's pretty amazing how much value you get for those $300. Starting off with CPU power, he gets 16 plus 2 plus 1 power phases. Rated at a maximum of 60 amps, which combined with the two full aprons for CPU power is more than enough to keep even those demanding Ryzen 7000 CPUs at full throttle, all while still leaving quite a bit of room for overclocking. And the compliments keep on rolling even in the PC expansion, which sure isn't the best in the world, but it's more than enough with a primary PC Gen 5 16x slot, an additional 16x but actually 4x gen 3 slot which is a bit of a disappointment and also one tiny 1x slot as well. Plus on top of that you get 4 and not 2 slots with the primary one being PC gen 5 and in fact it also comes with a pretty good heatsink to keep it cool and 3 additional M.2s as well all of which are gen 4 which is awesome to see. What's less awesome is the fact there's only 4 SATA connectors but at the same time I'm just so tired of complaining about it that I think I'm done. I think I'm actually done. I'll never bring up a motherboard only having four set of connectors ever again in any of my videos. Just joking, I'll always complain about it. But probably the best part is the rear I.O. Seeing how you have a whopping 11 USB Type A ports in total. And that's without even mentioning the 20 gigabit per second USB Type C port. Oh, and did I mention that this motherboard also has two Ethernet ports? And how much does it cost again? Oh, that's right, $300. Yeah, you get two RG45 Ethernet ports, one of them being 205 gig at a $300 price point. Why? I honestly have no idea. Add to that both Wi-Fi 6E and integrated DisplayPort and HDMI, and you have some pretty good rear I.O. Apart from the fact that, like Gigabyte, then we have two audio jacks and optical speed at the back, which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time, I'm also kind of just tired of always complaining about it. Congrats tech industry, you wore me down. But honestly, can I really complain that much when you're getting this much value for $300? And hey, did I also mention the included GPU anti-sag bracket? Because that's a thing as well. And if you can get over ASRock's specific theming with this motherboard, this weird greyish, silverish thing they have going on, then it's a pretty great value board, even if again, it is still $300. If you want cheaper stuff, that is definitely cheaper stuff. But if you want this fantastic motherboard, then our Amazon and Newegg links to it are going to be down in the video description below. And down you're going to find our Patreon, which is also a fantastic deal. Seeing how you can support us for as little as $1 a month. And I'd also like to thank my existing Patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, AKB, Justin Rage, Erevoniak, Balash, Welcome, Mick Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lansby, and Level Up. Down is going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, good, bye.